this Tech Corner, I'm joined by Tame Work Holding, Danny Brook. Welcome, Danny. Thank you. Now, Danny, something we've not really discussed before on Technical Corners, bar pullers. Can you explain their application and what they actually do, or is it just self-explanatory? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if, if you want to have an automated process whereby you're making multiple parts out of one bar, then you can use this in your lathe, um, you know, in a standard tool holder and, and actually achieve that. Now, my first question, obvious question would be, why wouldn't you use a bar feeder for this? So you could use a bar feeder, um, but obviously a bar feeder is uh, a lot more expensive. Um, also, it takes up a huge amount of space on your shop floor. So if you don't have the space, um, you know, this just utilizes a tool holder in, in the turret on your lathe um, and, and basically achieves the same thing. So have you got to actually program this to come in and to pick up your bar and to pull the bar out? And what kind of sizes and lengths could it pull and weight? So um, we do this in two different sizes. Um, mm -hmm. the, the bar size that you can grip is from six millimeters up to 90 millimeters in diameter. Um, it, you do have to program the turret to come in. However, it's just a standard tool holder. You don't need any through coolant or anything like that because it grips the bar just um, via a, a spring and a mechanical mechanism in, in the bar puller. Now, what about the length of bar? How long can the bar be? Do you know roughly? Or? Um, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the main thing is as long as it can be um, fit inside the, the spindle of your, uh, you know, the draw tube and the spindle of your lathe, then, then this will be able to pull it because it's just relying on the, the chuck gripping the bar and, and this holding it from the other end. And the jaws, you know, if you had to, to set to different diameters, what's how easy is it to set from one diameter to another? So we just use a standard T-nut and serration um, configuration that you would find on any uh, three-jaw chuck. So if you have a different size bar, it's just as simple as undoing one bolt, sliding that up to the serrations to, to grip that, and then away you go. So effectively... Dan, if, if people were looking to automate their process, couldn't afford a bar feed or had not got floor space for one or just simply, you know, don't want to go down that road, could this be a, a great solution for them? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a very cost effective solution. Uh, we do it with a VDI shank or a plain shank, so it'll fit any standard tool post on your, on your turret in a lathe. Um, you know, and it covers most bar sizes um, that, that you would want to grip. And so, yeah, it's a very, very good solution. How should people get in touch? Um, so best to probably give us a call um, or send us an email, sales at tameworkholding.com. Uh, you can have a look on our website, which is tameworkholding.com, and uh, find out all the information you need. Dan, thank you. Thank you.